the CompTIA Security Plus still the best certification that you can get if you're looking to start a career in cybersecurity? This is the exact question we'll be answering in today's video, where I'll be going over some of the reasons why the Security Plus is so popular for entry-level cybersecurity professionals, but not everything is going to be 100% rainbows and butterflies. And I'll also be going over some of the reasons why the Security Plus isn't perfect, as well as just the question of why cybersecurity needs so many certifications anyway. So jumping right in, I didn't make this video to bash on the CompTIA Security Plus certification. In fact, I am Security Plus certified, and I do believe that this certification is one of the reasons why I was able to get hired in my last cybersecurity analyst role. But as tech professionals, I don't think that we should always be going for the de facto certification, especially if there are other options that are better out there. But to first contradict myself, here are some reasons why the CompTIA Security Plus is basically the favorite certification for cybersecurity entry-level roles. Number one, is just how widely recognized it is by HR professionals, by recruiting teams, by even just candidates applying for a job. They know that Security Plus is going to be likely one of the most popular certifications that are going to be in a job listing, especially for anything entry level, early career, for SOC analysts, for junior pen testing, for compliance analysts. The Security Plus is just a very popular certification because it is just very well known. It is also one of the older certifications out there. We're currently on version 701 of the Security Plus, which updates every few years to keep the information fresh and up to date. And if you look at a typical job listing for a cybersecurity analyst role, for example, sometimes the job listings just ask for general security certifications and they'll put in parentheses some list of certifications, which will typically include the CISSP and the CompTIA Security Plus, which honestly, those certifications should not be lumped together, even though they often are considering the CISSP is a much more mid-career level certification. The CompTIA Security Plus is also compliant with 17024 standards and approved by the U.S. Department of Defense to meet Directive 8140.03M. Many government agencies and entities will rely on this accreditation because it provides confidence and trust in an accredited certification program. This is quoted directly from the CompTIA Security Plus website. This is one of the big reasons why the CompTIA Security Plus is well sought after. Even if you see other certifications that may be covering information that may be better suited for a cybersecurity role, for example, an SOC analyst role or a junior pen tester role, the Security Plus is still going to be the certification that is most likely going to be listed on a job listing, even if the material on the exam doesn't apply as much as other popular certifications. So not only when it comes to accreditation, recognition, and popularity with HR teams, and constantly keeping their content updated with new versions of the exam every few years, another reason is the fact that much of the candidate pool that HR teams are looking for are likely to be Security Plus certified certified because it is just the de facto most commonly thrown out name for cybersecurity beginner certifications. If I ask someone about the GSEC certification or EJPT, they may not have heard of those certifications, even though they may be well known in their individual spaces, but the Security Plus most people have heard of it if they're working or have considered working in cybersecurity, which also means it's just a better return on investment for anyone who's looking to take their first security certification, because obviously they will probably take the one that is most well known. The Security Plus also doesn't go in specifically into one specific tooling or one specific vendor or application, which makes it applicable for various different companies, different sectors, whether you're going into government, finance, healthcare, even just software companies. The material you learn on the Security Plus is general enough to help you be knowledgeable in a security role, but it's also because it doesn't focus on a specific type of vendor or a specific type of technology. And by the way, if you're watching this video and looking to start a career in cybersecurity and you're looking for a cybersecurity bootcamp, the one that I recommend is the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp that has a job guarantee if you qualify, which basically means that after you graduate from the bootcamp, if you're unable to find a job within a certain amount of time, you get a full tuition refund, which basically takes takes away a lot of the risk of going for a cybersecurity bootcamp, and they also have a great technical curriculum for your support, and they also help prepare you for the CompTIA Security Plus certification. You can use the link in my description to check if you qualify for their job guarantee, and you can also use my code with Sandra to get $1,000 off the entire bootcamp, and I'll have more information linked below. All right, so now that I've said enough good things about the CompTIA Security Plus, I also want to go into some of the downsides. Firstly is the impression that if you take the CompTIA Security Plus, then you'll be guaranteed to get your foot in the door in cybersecurity and get a job. And that, I think, is a very big promise to fulfill. For beginners in cybersecurity, yes, I do recommend if you graduated from a bootcamp or a cybersecurity degree program, then the next steps are to get your CompTIA Security Plus and to get a very, very good technical cybersecurity project portfolio. But even with these three things, considering how bad the job market is right now, a few years ago, it was a lot easier to get a job with these three pillars, basically. But nowadays, given how competitive the 
job market is, I wouldn't say that this will completely guarantee you a job. A lot of it also goes down to networking, applying for the right roles, being in the right place, right time, and just overall luck. And these are factors that aren't necessarily in everyone's control. And I don't want to mislead you into thinking the CompTIA Security Plus is a silver bullet that's going to solve all of your problems. And after you pass, you're going to get tens of hundreds of interview offers and job offers, which may technically be the case if you have a really good project portfolio and really technical skills that employers are looking for, but the CompTIA Security Plus isn't the only thing that is needed to get hired into cybersecurity. And of course, everyone's scenario is going to be different. Personally, I graduated in IT and I had a security certification. It wasn't CompTIA Security Plus, but it was a computer security and digital forensics certification from my university. And those were the main two factors that helped me break into cybersecurity. But I also had a lot of technical intern experience, technical projects that I could talk about during my interviews and various different volunteering roles in tech organizations and conferences. And all of these things played a part in helping me get my first job in cybersecurity. So so yes, the CompTIA Security Plus is very important and can definitely be a huge play and factor in getting your first job in cybersecurity. But if anyone says that this will 100% guarantee you a job in cybersecurity or, or is the only thing that you need to get under your belt to get hired, then that is something I personally disagree with. I believe the Security Plus is just one of the building blocks that you need to get your first job in cybersecurity. If you watch my recent video on where exactly are these entry-level jobs and why are they disappearing? You've heard me talk about the fact that HR teams are shrinking and the people creating job listings nowadays are not necessarily going to know the market as well as the recruiters will. But with all the layoffs that happened in the HR sector, more and more hiring managers are the ones that are writing the job listing. Basically, these are the managers of the teams that they're hiring for. And they may be asking their employees directly for, hey, what certifications would you want a candidate to have? And they may be throwing in certifications like the CISSP, which is a much more senior level certification. And that is why, unfortunately, you'll see very often the CISSP listed as a qualification for an entry level cybersecurity role. And if you know anything about the CISSP, you know that this certification is typically for professionals who have at least five to seven years of experience. Of course, you can take it earlier and, and gain the experience after, but, but for the most part, it is not an entry-level certification. But if an employer is listing these two certifications on a job listing, then when they're going through the candidate's resumes, if they see a candidate with the Security Plus and another candidate with their CISSP, they're probably going to interview the person with a CISSP, even in a scenario where both of these candidates have five to seven years of experience. The one with a CISSP is probably going to get the most callbacks. And that is primarily because most people see the Security Plus as an entry-level certification. And as you go further in your career, it'll probably benefit you to get more certifications that are more higher level, like the CISSP, to be able to grow in your career. So the Security Plus is really helpful for the first, I would say, five years of work experience as a security professional. But after that, you're probably going to have to start looking at other certifications to be a more competitive candidate. Another issue with the Security Plus is the fact that it's a very broad certification. So I'm a person who enjoys being a jack of all trades. I like learning a little bit about defensive security, about auditing and compliance, and then also about pen testing. But if you're someone who knows you want to become a junior pen tester, the Security Plus probably doesn't have the content that is really going to help you boost your career. There are lots of other certifications out there that are more hands-on with practical exams where you're actually breaking into a system and writing a report, but those certifications are just lesser known than Security Plus. So even though the Security Plus won't necessarily help you as much in the knowledge gap that you need to fill for becoming a junior pen tester, it'll probably still be the certification that will be listed on job qualifications and requirements because other certifications are just lesser known and HR may not want to put that on a job listing because they may not be sure of the accreditation of the certification. For example, the Hack the Box Cyber Defense Security Analyst Certification or the CDSA Cert is a great certification for anyone going into defensive security who wants to be an SOC analyst. But this certification most likely will not be listed under SOC analyst job listings because it's just not as well known. The Security Plus, on the other hand, probably will be. Even though the Hack the Box certification will probably have much more valuable information that is going to be relevant to your actual job, along with actual hands-on learning because you're going through their cyber defense course, as well as a practical hands-on exam where you're actually doing the things that an SOC analyst would be doing on the job versus the Security Plus, which is primarily multiple choice questions with a few drag and drop performance-based questions. So as you can see, very different learning path and very different exam preparation. One is completely knowledge-based while the other one is hands-on practice-based. But guess which one the HR and recruiters are going to prefer 
on their job listings. The security plus. Another thing to consider is the cost of the certification. This I've noticed changes fairly often, at least once a year. As of the time I'm filming this video, the cost of the security plus exam is $404 USD. One thing to note is that this is purely an exam fee for taking the exam one time. So not including any books that you may be buying, any online courses, any other learning resources that you're using to prepare and study for the security plus certification. The exam fee itself is already $400. And if you don't pass on your first try, that's even more money just going towards the exam fee. This can be a pretty pricey certification if you don't pass on your first try. CompTIA does have official training that they offer, and I've seen that go up to even $2,000. Professor Messer has completely free training for a lot of CompTIA certifications, so I would start there. I'll also list my CompTIA Security Plus textbook that I use. It's the all-in-one, and I basically read this textbook cover to cover, and it helped me pass, so I really recommend it. And I believe I rented that off of Amazon for about 25, 30 bucks. So not a bad investment. I'll link the textbook that I use down in my description, but certifications in general are very expensive. And I'm not just talking about the CompTIA Security Plus. The last thing I wanna talk about in this video is the fact that the cybersecurity sector is so obsessed with certifications, having to get new certifications if you want to make a career switch, which has its pros because you kind of know what roadmap to go for. You know, hey, if I wanna go into digital forensics, I had to get XYZ certification, but it's also so much money throughout your career, thousands and thousands of dollars, most likely going through exam fees, going through certification renewal fees, going through certification training, going to conferences to get continuing education credits. I don't think there's any other sector in tech that puts such a heavy emphasis on certifications and while I agree that certifications can prove you have some level of efficiency or knowledge in a certain area, but I also feel like all of the red tape and wiring that we put around cybersecurity jobs requiring a CISSP, requiring a OSCP certification, all this red tape keeps candidates who may not be very good at testing, who may not have the funding to get those certifications before they even go into that job, basically investing thousands of dollars before even starting a job in a specific sector, while other sectors like software engineering don't really care at all about certifications. I've never seen a company or HR ask for a software engineering certification on a job listing because they just don't need that. They're primarily focusing on their skills, what coding languages they know, their years of experience, their previous technical projects, etc. But in cybersecurity, there's this addition of a certification that can basically block out certain candidates that can definitely do the job, but may not be certified in a specific area. Now, again, there are pros and cons to this. Certifications are helpful in determining whether or not a candidate has the background to do a job, but I don't think it's something that should be a gatekeeper to someone even applying for a role. But as we all know, if you're currently looking for a job in cybersecurity, certifications is the name of the game. And honestly, I don't know if this will change in the next few years, even with advances in technology, advances in AI. For now, I do think the best advice is still to get certifications, whether we like it or not. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. I would love to hear your opinions, your job search experience, your experience taking certifications. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video was an insightful one. I've been really enjoying making these kinds of videos that share an opinion about the job market, about certifications, about something that's de facto and kind of seen as a requirement in cybersecurity or in the tech career space. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp with a job guarantee if you qualify, linked in my description. I post videos weekly and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.